Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about FET guys. FET is a field effect transistor. So in this tutorial, let's go through all the way about FET. So basically the FET is a device in which the flow of current through the conducting region is controlled by the electric field. So that can be controlled guys. That's the reason why we call it as a FET. That is nothing but a field effect transistor. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea. Hence, from the name, the effect field effect transistor. As the correct conduction is only by the majority carriers, hence the FET is said to be a unipolar device. Okay guys. Okay. So further moving on, based on the FET, those are divided and constructed in two types. One of them is junction FET, another one is metal oxide FET. So depending upon the majority carriers, doping of the junction is divided. So these are further divided into two types, N-channel J-FET with electrons, N means electrons, right? So electrons as the major carriers and P-channel J-FET with holes as the majority carriers. Okay guys, so now I hope everyone got a small idea. So basic block diagram of uh, N-channel and P-channel will be like this. Guys, this is also a three terminal device. The three terminals names are source, drain, excuse me source drain and gate okay in p and p and n p n negative means we used to get it outside right but here it's opposite we gotta get the direction inside similarly p means we used to take them but here we need we are giving it out okay that's the major difference and there we used uh, some slant lines but here we are using sharp lines that's it that's the major difference between n channel and p channel guys drain gate source drain gate source even if you shuffle this drain gate source that's it okay guys so now i hope everyone is now 100 percent clear with the basic block diagram of n channel and p channel so now let us go through the diagram which we call as something like this okay original diagram guys i'll be using my material for this chapter guys basically i didn't write complete short notes for this so that's the reason why I'm using this material for our understanding. Okay, so basically a N-channel JFET will be having the majorly occupied place will be N-channel and this is the main place where the current or everything flows. So this is an N-channel with two P types attached beside and this these two will become to create and drain and source. Got it? So similarly in place of N place P and in place of N place P. Sorry in place of P place N. So you gonna get a diagram like this. Here the major quantity is P channel. Hence this is a P channel J fit guys. Okay. So now I hope everyone is now clear with both the diagrams of N channel J fit and P channel J fit. So now let us go through these points. The source, gate, drain. So what are they everything on that. So I'll be discussing all about n channel first guys so similar points you can write for p channel also so basically as as from the name n channel will be the channel between two p type materials hence it is called as n channel jfit yeah that's what i just discussed so we have two pn junctions we have two depletion layers right so this will be one pn junction and this is another np junction so this is the depletion layer and this is the depletion region so as depletion region increases the n channel decreases right so if this depletion layers are increasing the n channel is going to vanish slowly yeah that's true so now let us go through similarly you can write the points for p channel also guys so let us go through the points such as source what is source what is drain and everything so source the terminal is connected to the negative pole of the battery electrons which are majority carriers in the n channel bar entering the bar through the terminal so source source is connected on the down right so we give a forward bias for this. So above positive and below negative. So for source we are giving negative. So N to N forms the forward bias. Got it? Okay. So further moving on drain. The terminal is connected to the positive pole of the battery. Yeah. The majority carriers leaves this terminal. Yeah, that's true. So gate now. So gate is something like this. It rotated like this in between P to P. Okay. So heavily doped P-type silicon is diffused on both sides of the N-type silicon bar by which P-N junction are formed. These layers are joined together 
and also called as gate so now i hope everyone got a small idea and channel c so channel is nothing but the majority carriers move from source to drain guys source to drain in this path the space where they travel we call it as a channel okay guys so the medium when the potential vds is applied between the drain and source okay guys so now i hope everyone got a hundred percent clean and crystal clear idea on n channel so similarly you can just write it down for p channel so now in the next tutorial we'll be going through operation of n channel guys thank you thanks for watching